Hey guys, Jake here coming at you with another math lesson today. Today we're going to be talking about how to multiply two functions together. For example, the type of problem where you're given an f and a g, and you have to find f times g of a specific number. I'm going to show you exactly the steps that you're going to want to go through to do this type of problem, so you should be feeling a lot better about it by the end of the video. And if you do want to check out that video I mentioned about adding two functions, I will link to that at the end of the video as well, so be sure to stick around till then. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the problem. We're going to evaluate the indicated function for f of x equals x squared plus one and g of x equals x minus four. And the function that we're going to be um, evaluating is f times g of negative six. So just like we've done in prior examples, uh, first thing we wanna do is find f times g of x, okay? So to find that, all we have to do Keep in mind basically whatever operation is happening right here in this set of parentheses, it's saying we wanna find f times g. So all we really should have to set up is f times g, which f is this whole part here, x squared plus one, g is this whole part here, x minus four. So we should be able to basically just say x squared plus one for f. Again, make sure that it goes in parentheses like this. And then times g is going to be times x minus 4 in parentheses. So f times g of x is would be written like this, x squared plus 1 times x minus 4 with each of those in parentheses. And now we want to simplify. So from here, what we can do is foil this out. So we're going to get x squared times x is x cubed. Whoops. Okay, then x squared times negative four is gonna be negative four x squared. And then plus one times x is plus x. And then plus one times negative four is minus four. Okay, if you are getting some value out of this so far, do me a huge favor, smash that like button down there. Really helps, helps my channel, helps this video, helps everybody. We can help more people with pre-calc that way, so. Um, just hit that like button if you're getting something useful out of this. Um, but yeah, so from here, we could definitely, you know, you would want to try and simplify this from this point if you can. In this case, there's not really any simplifying we can do because there's no like terms that we can combine here at this point. So this is basically as simple as f times g of x is going to get. But we're not done because remember, what we're looking for is f times g of negative 6. So now to find f times g of negative six, what we need to do is take our function f times g of x that we just found here. And wherever we see an x in this function, we need to replace it with a negative six. So we have an x right there, an x right there, and an x right there, okay? So we're basically just gonna take those x's out and replace them with a negative six in parentheses. So a negative six there, we're going to get a negative six for that one and a negative six for this one. And then the rest of the parts can just kind of be filled in around it. So it's going to be negative six cubed minus four times negative six squared plus negative six minus four. So all we literally all we did once we have our F times G of X is take all of our x's out and put in a negative six and again just like we've been i've been saying just like we've been doing make sure you put that negative six in parentheses you know don't don't think i'm just writing that to kind of show you uh to make it more clear of what you're doing you really do need those parentheses there especially when it's a negative number because if you don't do that it's not going to distribute and multiply the way that it's supposed to so in this case we have negative six cubed keep in mind a negative number cubed is like saying negative six times negative six times negative six. A negative times a negative times a negative is a negative. So negative six cubed should give us a negative number here. And if you uh, misplace the, the parentheses, I mean, you can see with this term here, we'll get to that in a second, but just squaring the six and not squaring the negative six is gonna give you the wrong number there. So. That's what I mean about, you know, making sure you use the parentheses like I did here. But anyway, negative six cubed. Um, shoot, let me, 
calculate that real quick. I probably should have done this ahead of time here. It is going to end up being negative 216. Uh, and then 6, negative 6 squared is the same as saying negative 6 times negative 6, which is positive 36. And then positive 36 times negative 4 is going to be negative 144. So the negative 6 squared is a positive times this negative 4 gives us a negative 144 plus negative 6 is minus 6 and then minus 4. Okay, so now we can basically just add all these up here. So uh, negative 216 minus 144 minus 6 minus 4 is going to give us negative 370. And that's going to be f times g of negative 6. Well, I hope you're feeling a bit better about how to multiply two functions after watching that. As promised, go ahead and click right over there if you want to go check out that video about how to add two functions. I highly recommend that you go watch that video because these two topics go hand in hand and you're definitely going to want to be familiar with both of them moving forward.